Well, it is Justice League time. Whether or not you like the movie, there's no denying that it's one of the most buzzed about films in recent years. It's got a superhero team up that people have been waiting for for a long time, like decades. But as it happens when things are buzzed about a lot, there've been some controversies surrounding the movie. And we're gonna be taking a look at some of those today. Here is the dark truth behind Justice League. If you're new to the channel, hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell will let you stay up to date with our videos. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've heard some of the awful scandals coming out of Hollywood about sexual misconduct. And if you have been living under a rock, let me know if there's any room down there available. Sounds nice. I'd like to move in. Well, Justice League hasn't been untouched by the scandals that are emerging from Hollywood, and that could possibly affect the movie's box office. For one, Ben Affleck was accused of some inappropriate behavior for which he apologized. Jason Momoa also made a very controversial joke about sexual assault. And Joss Whedon, who directed the reshoots, was caught up in a big adultery scandal as well. That's kind of a lot of stuff. Gal Gadot, on the other hand, is using her position of power for positive change. She said she refuses to return for Wonder Woman 2 if producer Brett Ratner is attached to the project. Because if you didn't hear the news, he's also a scumbag. Just a big bag of scum. Still in the vein of men in Hollywood making some bad decisions, another controversy came to light when costumes for the Amazons in Justice League were revealed. Turns out they're a lot skimpier than the outfits the same characters wore in Wonder Woman. A side-by-side -side picture reveals the Amazon costumes in Zack Snyder's version of Themyscira show quite a bit more skin than before, which is a weird choice for battle gear. You'd think you'd want a bit more protection than that during a fight. That being said, some of the actresses have expressed that they actually like the costumes. There's also the fact that not all the Amazons wear those costumes in the movie, and that Zack Snyder hasn't shied away from showing off skimpy male outfits during battle scenes either. Leonidas and his buddies were pretty much naked that entire movie. When Batman v Superman came out last year, it was met with a pretty abysmal score on Rotten Tomatoes, actually even before the movie even came out. A lot of people argued that that hurt the film by giving people bad expectations heading in, and maybe it even affected the box office numbers. There were also people calling for a boycott of Rotten Tomatoes because they gave the movie a bad score. Of course, those people didn't realize that Rotten Tomatoes just aggregates reviews, but whatever. For the release of Justice League, Rotten Tomatoes seems to have made a decision to prevent that same kind of backlash, but by doing so created another controversy. They decided to withhold the tomato score until opening day. Now their official on the record reason for this is that they wanted to unveil the score during their see it skip it Facebook show, but a lot of people are up in arms about the withheld information. You just can't win. Diane Lane plays Martha Kent in the DCEU, and she caused a lot of backlash a couple of months ago after some comments during an interview. So an interviewer asked if she could reveal any Justice League movie spoilers and if the movie was better than the Avengers. And she answered, quote, no and no, short and honest, I hate to disappoint. So fans were like, did she just say that the Avengers is better than Justice League? The part of the internet that's always been at war between Marvel and DC instantly blew up and went absolutely nuts. The Marvel side were cheering and the DC side were cursing Diane Lane's name and saying she had no idea what she was talking about. Well, the actress quickly released a statement through her representatives to clear things up. That read, Diane meant sorry to disappoint in reference to revealing anything concerning Justice League that is not already out in the public, and was declining to comment on a film, The Avengers, that she has not seen. So luckily that whole fire got put out pretty quickly. And that does it for today's quick list. Let us know in the comments section if you know of any other controversies surrounding the Justice League movie and what you think of the ones we spoke about here today. If you're watching this on Facebook, you can hit that link to jump over to YouTube and subscribe. Thanks for watching.